Okay, I'm going to show you how to install the replacement swivel, and I'm going to do it on this two-wheel cart model. Uh, the process is exactly the same whether you have a freestanding or a wall mount hose reel or a four-wheel wagon. Um, first thing we want to do is shut the water off at the faucet, and we're going to want to unroll all the hose off of the reel, and I can explain why later. Okay, with the hose all the way pulled off the reel, what we now want to do is take the swivel off the reel, and the first thing we want to do is take our Phillips screwdriver and loosen the hose strap that is securing the hose to the side of the flange. You don't have to take that screw all the way out, just enough to where you can push some excess hose through the strap and then bring it out through that opening. That's just going to give you a lot more room to work with out here, and that's the reason we had to pull all the hose off the reel. So now let's go ahead and disconnect the garden hose from the swivel. Okay. Now you can loosen the aluminum nut. Pull, pull the swivel away from the reel. It's going to expose the inlet hose in this connection. Now unscrew the swivel from the inlet hose. Okay. Now we're ready to attach the new swivel. Okay, the first thing we need to do is determine whether or not we need to use this shim that came with the swivel, okay? Not every uh, hose reel is going to require this shim. Uh, it all depends on how many threads are at the end of your axle. I'm going to take the cam lever brake off, show you a little bit better. You see these threads here, there's about three of them, and there's a good space between the threads and the end of the axle, okay? If your axle looks like this, then you'll need this shim. But first, let me put the cam lever brake back on. Now it's important to remember to uh, make sure the tab lines up with the notch in the flange and make sure everything is pushed completely on. So take the shim and insert it in the swivel. And then this rotates. So what you wanna do is attach it to the inlet hose. Let's go ahead and attach the new swivel. You can just go ahead and grab this aluminum collar and the inlet hose and just tighten it up firmly. Now go ahead and slide the swivel onto the axle. You're going to want this nut to line up with, to be pointing up to line up with this. You slide it on and then you take your wrench that came with your hose reel, bring it through there and start and tighten it down. Again, the reason we pulled all the hose off the reel is so that we could pull some excess hose out here. It's a lot easier to get lined up with the swivel rather than trying to do that real tight in here by this opening. Okay, now that we got that attached, let's go ahead and push the excess back through the opening in the flange. Pull the excess back through the hose strap. Now with this, the excess slack, pull through the hose strap. Go ahead and tighten your hose strap back down. Again, if you have a cordless drill, this will go a little bit faster. Okay. Now we're ready to roll the hose back onto the reel. Okay, final step, turn the water back on the faucet, and make sure there's no leaks. We're good.